Hi guys, in this video, we'll be looking at integration of a function where the whole function is an expression that is raised to the power of n, where n is an integer that is not negative 1. More importantly, n is a number such that the expansion of this expression will become very difficult. Then we apply one of two methods. Number one is substitution. And number two is a much simpler method that is to simply apply the formula. If you want to skip substitution and go to the formula, these are already broken down to chapters. You can skip to wherever is relevant to you. Let's get started. First, let's study substitution method. Using the substitution method, find the indefinite integral of this. When we look at this power here, this is raised to the power of 4. And so it's going to be a little bit difficult to expand before we can apply the simple formula. I've done a video on the simple indefinite integral formula. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. You can check it out if you want to. So let's get right to this question. So integration of 3x minus 2 to the power of 4 with respect to x will be equals to. So in order for us to do this, we substitute whatever is inside the bracket, that is this, as u. So we start by saying let u be equals to 3x minus 2. And so now this will be equals to integration of u to the power of 4 dx. Now, this is still pretty much useless because this integration is with respect to x. However, we have the variable in terms of u. And how do we fix this? Well, first, we do du dx, differentiate u with respect to x because this is u in terms of x, and then you get. 3. This is basic differentiation uh, formula. I've also done a video on this. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. You can check it out after this video. So once you have this, we're treating dx as if it is an algebraic term. So we are making dx the subject. Now, technically, this is not correct, but for this particular method, this substitution method, it does work. dx is actually not an algebraic term where you can perform operations on. However, in this case, this is true, and that is dx will be equals to du over 3. Now, since we have u, we need to integrate in terms of u. And so we can substitute dx with this. So that's exactly what we are going to do. If we substitute dx into this, then you will get this is equals to integration of u to the power of 4 du over 3. Now, over 3, we can transmit over to here over 3, u to the power of 4 over 3. And now we can integrate as usual, apply the basic indefinite integral formula. And before that, whenever you have a constant, it might be easier for us if we move the constant out of the integral. So this will become 1 over 3 into the integration of u to the power of 4 du. And now we apply the formula, this will become 1 over 3 in brackets, we will have u to the power of 4 plus 1, 5, over 5. And since there is no limit here, this is an indefinite integral. Therefore, we must always remember to plus c. And now we have our answer. All we have to do is substitute u back. So this will equal to 1 over 15, u to the power of 5. 3x minus 2 to the power of 5 plus c. So this is how we use our substitution method. Let's try another question using substitution. Let's try the first one, a. So once again, the first step is to substitute that u equals to 2x minus 5. Use u substitution. Then we find the first derivative with respect to x, du dx. This will be 2. And then we find dx in terms of du, so to speak. So this is du over 2. And now we are ready to deal with the integral. So integration of 2x minus 4 to the power of 5 with respect to x can now be written as integration of u to the power of 5. dx will be du over 2. And once again, constant we can leave it out of the integral. So 1 over 2, integration of u to the power of 5 du. Here we will get 1 over 2, brackets u to the power of 6 over 6, and 
Don't forget plus C because this is an indefinite integral. And now the answer is 1 over 12 u to the power of 6 plus c. Substitute back the value of u, or rather the expression that is substituted in u, that will be 1 over 12, 2x minus 4 to the power of 6 plus c. And this is how we use substitution. Now, for the simpler method, let's explore how to use the formula directly. For the formula, the formula is integral of ax plus b to the power of n with respect to x is equals to we apply the formula as if everything in the bracket is what we are integrating with respect to so the power here will be ax plus b n plus 1 we add 1 so this will be over n plus 1 as well you will notice this is the application of the basic formula and then we have to add in the denominator, we have to multiply the first derivative of whatever is inside the bracket. So if we differentiate this, if we differentiate ax plus b with respect to x, we will get, since a and b are just constants, a and b just represents fixed numbers. So this will just become a. Now in the denominator, we multiply a. Don't forget this is an indefinite integral, so we need to plus c. There are no limits. So let's apply this to this question here. Integrate x plus 5 to the power of 3 with respect to x. So when we integrate x plus 5 to the power of 3 with respect to x, first thing we do, apply the formula is x plus 5, copy whatever is inside the bracket, power we add 1, then we divide by the power added with 1 and we have to multiply with the first derivative of whatever is inside the bracket. So when we differentiate this with respect to x, x plus 5, we get 1. So this will be multiplied with 1. And then don't forget this is an indefinite integral so you need to plus c. And so this would equals to x plus 5 to the power of 4 divided by 4 plus c. And this is how we use the formula. Let's try one more question. Let's try to apply the formula to this question. So this would be equals to, once again, whenever you have constants, it will be easier if you move the constants out of the integral. This is similar to factorization. So you take the 3 outside the integral and then inside what we are left with is 5x plus 1 to the power of 8 with respect to x. And so now we can focus on the integral. So we apply the formula, leave the 3 outside, use a bracket. Now we apply the formula. Keep what is inside this round bracket. The power we add 1, then we divide by the power added with 1 and multiply with the first derivative of whatever is inside the bracket. So let's differentiate. When we differentiate with respect to x, 5x plus 1, we will get 5. And so this will be multiplied with 5. And then we close bracket. Don't forget this is an indefinite integral so we need to plus c. Okay, so now this will become 3 over 9 times 5 into 5x plus 1 to the power of 9. And so this will be 1 over 15. So we can just write this as 5x plus 1 to the power of 9 over 15, don't forget, plus c. And that's how we apply the formula. That's it for this video guys, I hope you've learned. If you have, do help me by hitting the like button, really does help a lot. Thank you very much for doing that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.